So like this, I can add a new area. So if I want to mention a URL, I can mention the URL here. Title new area. Like this, I can mention it. And I just click save. Then in this area, I can add default group. That means an existing group I can add or I can add a new group. Uh, I'm going to mention work. I added a new group. Inside that group, I'm going to add sub area. So when I'm adding sub area, I need to mention which all the client is new to be run. So I can select all the area or I can select an entity. Click on select entity. I need to display account activity book. I added. Okay, only one is came. Account answer. No, one by one is asked to answer. Okay. Let's add one by one then. Okay, I added account. So here I can mention account save it so like this i can add more and more record over here i can add book here cool so once you have done the changes you just click save save is just to take a backup of your sitemap you need to click update the save is to take a backup of it open is to load from the backup load sitemap is to get the values from the updated sitemap from your CRM server and update is to update your existing sitemap. So our sitemap is updated. Let's check if it is updated or not. Yes, the ID is added here. Okay. Now you click on the area, you can see two, two, two items. So like that you can customize it. So it's very simple. I mean the tool is so fast also, not like ribbon customizer. You can add area or you can remove existing area also. If I want to remove this area for that matter, also customer or help center for that matter. My trinity to do is delete it or, or disable it. This area is disabled. Now I have added some item over here. These are all items are existing entities only. So I don't need to reinvent the deal. Rather than I need to say add default sitemap sub area. So it will show you all the items in the CRM system. Dashboards, activities, calendar. So I can add from here. So anyway account and everything you are not adding something new same way if I need to add another group here right click on the area click on add default sitemap group so these are the existing group business settings system setting customization I'm going to add customization area so new group added then update sitemap refresh your UI see now this that help area has been disabled go to new area then you got calendar also added here. I think that group is not added, but that calendar is also added. So like that you can customize. So only thing you need to understand that what all changes we are going to make, the tool will make that changes to the underlying sitemap.xml. So these are the areas, these are the groups, and these are sub areas. Only thing you need to understand that. If you know these three elements, then you can easily customize that here. So we, again, so before you are doing to make any changes, first of all, when you connected it, just click on save sitemap and either you save it on XRM toolbox folder or anywhere in your CRM system just save that sitemap.xml because sometimes what happened is you're not doing properly your sitemap won't work after that so in such situation you need to open it you need to restore it make a backup of it then you do it so apart from that you can play around with this like anything